Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my autumn capsule wardrobe collection. I actually share this over on Instagram and on TikTok, which I'll leave on the screen now in the description box of this video. But I actually shared a Reels and a TikTok sharing just a quick preview of my entire autumn capsule wardrobe. You guys seem to really have loved it. So I thought, why not share it here on YouTube, on Instagram? I wasn't able to actually share all the pieces in detail and where everything is from so i thought i'd film it as a youtube video where you're going to be able to see the pieces in their entirety and i'll leave it in the description box the link to every single piece so this is a little bit of a different setup it's still in the same location but i just switched so that i can show you all the pieces so if you enjoy these types of standing up videos then let me know hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you do don't forget to subscribe but with that being said let's just jump straight into the video okay so i'm actually going to try and do it kind of roughly in the order that i did it on instagram so even though i have my coats here i'm going to quickly skip them and start here so the first piece i have in my capsule wardrobe for autumn is a beige blazer if you guys have been watching my channel for a little while you'll know exactly when i got this and the fact that it was like my favorite thing this is from h&m i love this because you definitely cannot tell that it is h&m it's actually their wool blend i love this blazer so much i tried to wear it all summer long but it was actually really hot now it's perfect in the autumn blazers are the number one thing that you would like to have i really like the shade of beige and you guys will be able to see in the cutaway clips a close-up of this but it's just such a premium feeling to it so either way it doesn't really matter you don't need exactly this blazer as i said this video is more so me sharing what you may already own in your closet what you can pull out for the autumn month so definitely don't feel pressured to shop this exact one but this one is my favorite, I will say. It's actually incredible. I love the structure of it. And every time I pick up a new blazer as part of the Worth the Hype series, I always compare to this one. This is almost like my gold standard, even though it's H&M, it's so good. This one actually I bought with the trousers. Now it doesn't come together, you do buy them separately. And over on Instagram, I mentioned having these two together is a bonus. So this is a beige pant. So again, it doesn't have to be as part of a set, it doesn't have to be this one specifically, but if you do have beige trousers, I absolutely love these trousers. Every time I get new trousers, again, as part of the Worth the Hype series, or if I'm just buying new trousers, I always use this as like my gold standard comparison. Kind of, I do have other trousers that I absolutely love, which I'll feature in this video as well. But the one thing I love about these in particular is the crotch area is perfect. Like it doesn't hang too much, but it doesn't, it's not like, super tight but it's amazing it just skims the body really well i will be filming more videos over here on my channel sharing multiple ways to style these pieces but i also already have a lot of them over on instagram and tiktok so if you want to check them out they'll be in the description box of this video next up is a black tailored blazer or just a black blazer this one is actually from cos and to be honest if you've watched my last video you know i'm going to be returning this one the only reason i'm featuring it here is because the black blazer that i typically use all the time which is my oversized blazer I have no idea where it's from and it's always annoying because I can never actually link it so I thought let me get a blazer that I can actually link and I can link as well similar blazers and just the rest of the black blazers that COS make because to be honest I think I actually like the COS blazers it's just this one in particular I've spoken about it in the COS video which I'll leave somewhere on the screen in case you want to watch an in-depth review of this blazer again i'm not going to do that in this video but in general a black blazer is perfect for the autumn it works really well with a pair of blue straight leg jeans some loafers anything like that and a black crossbody bag something super minimal like that and you can also layer this if you're wearing a coat over the top like a trench coat you can actually layer i typically don't do that because i don't like to layer with blazers it sometimes just looks a little bit clunky on me but yeah this is just a black blazer again this one's from cos for something that's just a wool blazer has a little bit of texture if you like it now this texture isn't crazy or anything but it's just like you can tell that it's well made a tweed blazer now this one is from oasis but you can find them pretty much anywhere I actually didn't even think I was ever going to have a tweed blazer because I'm not really into them. I think it's more so the cut, the raw cut edges. I did find one which kind of resembles a tweed blazer, but it's not tweed. It's actually a cashmere wool blend from Theory. 
I love that one and I'll put a picture of me wearing it on the screen. I didn't get it, but I'm considering getting it. I find that matches my style a little bit more. I find that tweed blazers for me are a little bit overdone. I did want to have one in my collection because I actually really like it now, but I can see why some people feel like it's overdone because I also think it's overdone a little bit. I just have it a bit more for fun. So out of all the pieces here, I would say this one is not as much I mean, none of these are really necessities, but this one is definitely not a necessity. This one is more like, if you like it, try it. But yeah, this one's from Oasis. I actually got it through working with them. Otherwise, I don't think I would have gotten one, but there are some really nice ones at the moment on the high street and luxury market. So I'll leave them also linked in the description box of this video. Next up is a basic, but a very good one. And this is the Arquette heavyweight t-shirt. Now you don't need this one specifically, but you want a high quality black t-shirt or just t-shirt in general to be honest it depends what you typically like to wear if you like white t-shirts go and invest in a white t-shirt if you like colorful t-shirts then go ahead and get those i personally just wanted something super basic and minimal and i actually did pick this one up when i was doing the arquette worth the hype which was the first episode of the series i really love this you guys know i keep talking about it i also compared it to the one from cos i preferred this one this one is incredible actually this one specifically is about 35 pounds and the quality is just incredible which just comes to show that you don't need to spend extortionate prices i mean it's still higher than your typical maybe h&m or zara but i really do love this one of course this would not be an autumn capsule wardrobe without a striped knit now this one you might assume is from totem but it actually isn't this one is from a brand called rose paris I recently discovered them, especially on Instagram. Now they actually did send this over as PR, but I don't have an obligation to post. You guys know I've been loving this genuinely. It's actually funny because I actually saw a screenshot of this on Pinterest and then I knew, okay, this is the one I wanted. So I actually have another one from Rose Paris, which I'll show you in a second, but this is stunning. Now this one actually, you can probably tell, especially because of this lighting, it's this ecru beige tone and then this navy blue stripes. They call this Breton or Breton. I really love this. I genuinely love this. I know the Totem one is black stripes and I do see why I would prefer it with black stripes, but I do think this one's very unique and it gives off the same vibes as the Totem one. In general, there's actually been a lot of striped knits this season that have come out, especially H&M has brought out many and Arquette and loads of brands. So I'll leave them also linked in the description box, but you can never go wrong with a striped knit it in autumn now next up a little bit of cheating but i'm actually wearing it i typically am wearing the pieces that i own obviously so i am wearing one of the pieces this is a navy knit this one is from theory i actually wore the same exact outfit in my last video because i just love it so much but this is a cashmere knit i would definitely recommend investing in cashmere knit in the autumn the ones that i just showed you from rose are actually i believe cashmere blend they're mostly merino wool, but I do think they have some cashmere in there if I'm not wrong. This one is 100% cashmere from Theory, and I would just 100% recommend investing in some cashmere. I've already spoken about this before in literally all of my videos at this point, how cashmere just feels so good on the skin. It definitely gives you that premium feeling and it keeps you nice and warm. This type of cashmere where it's 100% cashmere definitely is one that you would want to layer. So I am still a little bit chilly right now wearing this type of cashmere because it's more of that you know, 100% cashmere. Now, when you get cashmere blend, especially wool and cashmere blend, that's when you'll get a lot warmer. So what I would say is you can definitely pick out cashmere, 100% cashmere pieces at the beginning of the autumn season and then closer to when it's going into winter, I would 100% recommend investing in wool cashmere blends. Personally, I find wool very itchy on my skin, so it's really nice when it's blended in with cashmere. And to be honest, these ones from Rosé Paris are not itchy at all. I think it's because it's merino wool mixed with cashmere. This one has a zip. I would say have fun with cashmere knits, but yeah, a navy knit is perfect. I think a navy, a black, maybe a grey. I don't have my grey one here with me, but just cashmere knits are definitely perfect for the autumn. Now, talking about black knits, I have another one from Rosé Paris. This is so incredible, and funnily enough, I find this to be warmer and thicker than the striped one. This is amazing. I really, really love this. I think it's giving Totem vibes. I think it's that bottom part where it's just that long hem. I love it so much. And then you've got some slits on the side, so it allows for movement. I literally have been wearing this every single day. Also, by the way, I will leave sizes in the description box, so I don't want to get into all of that. I love this. And I definitely think having a black knit in your capsule wardrobe for autumn is definitely a perfect idea. It's super simple to style. You can do all black outfits. You can style this with blue jeans, 
grey pants. I actually tried to do grey trousers with these. It looked nice, but it wasn't my favourite. And you could just style it in so many different ways. You can obviously use this for layering. So I really, really love this. There isn't too much to say about this. I think everyone kind of knows about a black knit. Definitely think about investing. It doesn't have to be extortionate prices. Think about what your budget is, but I would definitely recommend to invest a little bit more than what you typically would to make sure you get that quality. Just make sure you're shopping quality pieces because not everything that's high price point means quality. Now, I probably should have started with the next ones, but these are white shirts. Now, I actually have two of these because it depends the style you're going for. This first one is from H&M. It's really funny. I get so many questions on this. It's not your typical cotton shirt. Like, it's not that sharp. Not sharp, but you know what I mean. Like, not textured. Just like kind of like your school shirt. It's not like that. It does have a little bit of texture to it, but I love it for that reason. Again, you can wear this underneath, like, a beige trench coat, a navy trench coat. You can wear it with suit pants, jeans. You can wear it with anything. This is just a staple to have. There isn't really much to say about it. And this one, I also got quite a few questions about, is from Align. Now, this one has a pocket, and it's definitely that school shirt material. But I really really love it because it's got dumbbell sleeves and then almost these just like sharp triangular pointed collars which I really love. I would consider this like my more feminine shirt and I love wearing this to be honest also in the summer but yeah really love this again not much to say about white shirts but hopefully this helps for anyone who wanted to know where things were from specifically. The next staple piece to have is definitely a knitted dress. This one specifically is from Mango. Now, as you can probably see, the waist looks incredible here. I already got this tailored, so this isn't how you would get it if you bought it. It's not too different from this. The only thing I did was cinch it in at the waist. This one initially was a size small, like a size eight. So I reckon if you size down one, maybe, you would get this fit or one from your normal size. I really love this because this is an A-line type of dress. Now, to be honest, I got this tailored where I got it cinched in at the waist. It kind of, I don't know, there is this like slit and the back one was a little bit wider than the front one, which gave this illusion of an A-line dress. It fits now a little bit tighter than that because there is no more overlap since I got the waist cinched in, which is kind of sad because I did like the fact that this was an, more of an A-line dress. But overall, having a knitted dress in your collection is definitely amazing because you can add that feminine touch. I just love that I can wear a dress in the autumn. To be honest, I've recently only started getting into dresses and now I'm obsessed. But this with some knee-high boots, some sneakers, some loafers, anything really. The thing is, it keeps you so warm, but without being trousers, jumpers, trousers, jumpers, jeans. I think you can kind of get tired of that sometimes and you just want a little bit of a change. I actually just mentioned knee-high boots. I don't have any in this video, but that's definitely something I would recommend. I just haven't found one that I absolutely love yet. The next thing is this wool cashmere A-line skirt. Now, it doesn't have to be that specifically, but definitely a wool skirt of some kind. Now, and A-line, because I love A-line. I can't stand anything that kind of isn't A-line, or you might notice I quite like the A-line cinched in at the waist, wide leg for trousers but i love an a-line skirt this one is from theory and it's definitely an investment that was made now i did get this a little bit discounted because i was working with theory but this is incredible and it's one that i cannot stop recommending i love styling it with this sweater from theory so the inside of this is cupro and this is 90 percent wool 10 percent cashmere on the outside and even every time i tell people to feel it it's so thick I absolutely love this and again this would look incredible even with some tights and some high knee boots when it gets a little bit chillier but I actually was wearing this with the sweater and some vagers which I'm wearing right now. Next up is definitely something that you would make more use out of at the beginning of the autumn when it's still a little bit warmer. This is a pair of silk trousers and if, again you've watched my Arquette Worth the Hype this is where it came from. One way to style this is to style it with your striped knit or you can style it with your black knit and do an all black outfit. I really thoroughly love these and I just think they're perfect. Again the only thing about silk trousers is they are a little bit chillier depending where you get them from and how thick they are and they do crease a lot kind of but i think if you're going to wear this with an oversized sweater it won't crease as much or at least where it does crease from where you sit down you won't be able to see i just love to add different textures into my closet now since we're already gradually going into the trousers i'll just do that and then we'll finish off with the coats and the shoes and bags etc so this is grey trousers now I actually have two here so I'll just share them at the same time 
because they go under the same category. The only real difference between them, well, you'll know if you've been watching my other videos, but also this one is lighter than this one. I just have been loving monochrome outfits. It's honestly the easiest thing to style this time of year. I love it. So having some gray trousers and I obviously have my cos gray turtleneck, which I don't have here with me because I didn't want to show all of my knitwear. So these ones are from Future Shore, which are the lighter ones. And then these ones are from cos, which are, I just love them so much. Now on the topic of trousers, the next pair of trousers I am actually wearing, I cannot say this enough, I'm always wearing these trousers. So these are from cos. These are the wide leg tailored wool trousers and I absolutely love them especially love wearing it with this Celine belt. But I just love it because the back, you guys know, it has that elastic thing with the button so I can really adjust it to my liking. But I absolutely love these so much. So basically black trousers. I know I'm mentioning it like cos trousers. You can have them be from anywhere, but I will say cos wool trousers are superb. The next thing to have is a pair of straight leg jeans. This is funny because you may actually recognize this from my last video from the cos worth the hype. I said I wasn't gonna keep this and then I put an update on the screen saying that I was considering keeping it. I'm keeping them because I just think it's kind of hard to come across blue straight leg jeans that I actually like and that are actually straight leg and not like semi skinny jeans type of thing. I would definitely say to invest more in your jeans, especially making sure to get some that don't have a stretch so that they can last you longer. Having a pair of straight leg jeans in the autumn is actually perfect because it's actually really hard to style loafers with anything else other than straight leg jeans that are slightly cropped. Lastly for jeans slash trousers, this is wide leg jeans from Naked Fashion. These I've actually had since last year and I keep bringing them back out. The other day I styled it with a black turtleneck and I put a jumper. I actually posted it here as a shorts as well. This one specifically make my legs look super long. That's the difference between the straight leg and the wide leg. The wide leg is even gonna give you even more leg because typically it goes even longer than your leg length, whereas straight leg jeans, they are a little bit more cropped. Depending on which ones you get, I'm talking specifically slightly cropped straight leg jeans when I'm mentioning them. If you try to invest in something which is a darker blue because it just goes much better in the autumn months and it doesn't look too summery. Circling back to the coats, I have three here that I absolutely think are must-haves basically in the autumn months. The first one is a puffer coat, you guys know already, this is my one from Totem. I absolutely love it. It doesn't have to be from Totem, but I do like to pick pieces that I really love. So this is one from Totem. It's just so edgy and cool, and it's not like your typical puffer coat, and it's definitely not a cropped one or a shorter one. I really like that this is a long puffer coat because one, it's waterproof. Two, it actually does keep you warm and you can layer underneath this anyways. And three, it's long, so it keeps your entire body dry. And then obviously it wouldn't be autumn without some trench coats. These ones are quite heavy for some reason. This one is from Glassworks. I've had this one since last year, I believe, but this is a beige one. I think it's 100% cotton. Someone had commented that when I told them where it's from, so I'm guessing it is. I do love my double-breasted trench coats as opposed to my single-breasted ones because you do get more width on the sides. I think that's actually what might be the issue with this Cos one. I did mention that I was not sure whether to keep this navy one from cos from my last video because it wasn't very wide on the sides as i liked it to be but i am keeping this i do think it's just such an interesting piece like a navy blue trench coat i just love moving on to shoes before we move on to accessories to end this video this is the first thing that i would definitely say is really practical in your autumn closet a pair of white sneakers they can literally be from anywhere but i actually really love Vagers. These are the Vager V12s. I really love having these in the autumn months. They are very timeless. They are very chic. This specific color as well is in the white sable and I really love it. Now, the only thing I would say about Vagers is especially on these ones and a lot of people have mentioned this, they have a very long tongue and it is quite sturdy slash stiff. I was wearing this almost every day in the summer. It actually sort of marked like left a dark mark where it's basically digging into my skin. You can get things like blister plasters or whatever they're called. Just a pair of white sneakers is actually perfect for the autumn. Of course, next up is a pair of loafers. These are the equestrian buckle loafers from And Other Story. I really love these because to me, they resemble a lot the Gucci horse bit loafers. Whereas the other ones, they have loads of chains across the front. They are super chunky. If you get them super chunky with chunky gold on the front, 
it can make it look a little bit less timeless. It depends what type of loafers you're into. If you want more classic ones, I would say go for something with a little bit more of a flatter base and something that's a little bit more streamlined, I guess, and not too yellow gold. But if you're into the trendy style, maybe you want to go for the super chunky ones with a little bit more chunky gold on the front. Lastly for shoes, definitely some heeled boots. Ideally, you would want something that's kind of like knee-high boots or something, but as I said, I haven't found any that I like. So I have these ones that I had in my closet from last year that recently I've kind of been taking back out. Croc design, faux leather from Naked Fashion. However, I don't think these are the ones that I love. Like I just have them because I have them and I haven't found anything yet that I love more. The thing I like about these is the pointed front. I really love a pointy heel boot i just love it so when i find something that's not croc and it's just like you know normal leather i would definitely invest but for now i would definitely just say maybe getting something that's pointy if you want more of that elegant chic style if you like rounded toe go for that it just depends what you like and lastly onto accessories i would definitely recommend having some belts these are just practical if you want to cinch something in. These are just sort of your add-ons in your closet that actually are just very helpful. The first thing I would recommend is having a tan belt. This also comes in handy in the summer. And to be honest, I have this because of summer. So this is just incredible because you can bring it with you throughout the year. I will say it's a little bit more of like a an add-on. You don't need it. One of them that I would say is more of a basic to have is a black belt. It doesn't have to be one from Celine. This is just the one that I chose to get for myself, but this is the Celine Triumph belt. I have a video on that so you can check that out if you want to see more details about this but definitely having a black belt is just super practical especially because you're wearing more darker tones this one just blends in a little bit i know a lot of people maybe don't like this belt because it's overworn i just think most things are overworn especially because of social media you see things everywhere and they become a little bit overworn in general you can't really stop buying things that you like because other people are wearing it as long as you know the real reasons why you're buying it and you're buying it because you genuinely love it you should definitely go and get it if that's an option for you but yeah definitely having a black belt is definitely perfect and lastly in this entire video is a brown bag the reason I didn't include a black bag is because I haven't found... I do have one which I keep on wearing from Burton Hyde, but it isn't my exact favourite and I did want to feature my favourites in this video. This is a brown bag. You guys probably have already seen this. Again, I go on about... This one is from Arquette and I absolutely love this tone of brown. I love it so much. I will say maybe in the winter time, not that practical because it doesn't have a zip. So if it's raining, I to be honest have worn this out in the rain and it's been fine, especially now with an umbrella. You can just kind of tuck it in, have your umbrella and it's absolutely fine and just like that we've come to the end of this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and hopefully the audio isn't too different i know it's a little bit echoey in here i do have my microphone but usually i'm a lot closer to my camera hopefully you enjoyed the selection of pieces that i had to share from my autumn closet if you have any questions on the pieces you can definitely ask them in the comment section of this video and with regards to sizing and everything i'll leave it in the description box of this video so if you guys want to know specifically sizes don't forget to check out the description box first because that's where i'll put all the sizes for all of these pieces alongside the link but with that being said i hope to see you guys very very soon in my next video